And today, another 110 degree day. So today we took out the garden and we are setting up some used solar panels. I got some 270 to 315 watt solar panels mixed, used. So we took the brake mount EG4 um, solar array. And what we did was we used three of the four mounts down there so far and that we can get in the garden. And then we used the three rails on the top here. And I can actually move this rail down that way. And I could use the fourth rail to probably get um, maybe eight solar panels on this. So I'll have eight, 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 and eight. So we'll be able to do those into one full. I've got that string right there, that array, and that array going into one of those EG4 3000s. But um, what I was able to do was I bought some um, some um, uh, roof mount racking or ground mount racking from a different supplier. And I was able to use the, um, the foot right here to mount this on. This was the same, didn't have to do anything, but this part for the hole, I had to make a little bit bigger to accept this. And I have to use their um, mid clamps and end clamps, but I was able to use the bright mount EG4 end clamps up on top. So um, we just took and bought a, I believe it's a, um, four by six post, eight foot long, cut them in half. And we mounted them over there, eight inches from the end of the uh, piece of wood going this way. We started right there and mounted that and just put some anchor screws in there. And it does a really good job of holding this up. Um, this is um, a couple hundred pounds, so that won't move at all. Um, I had built this solar array out of wood and this was like 150 bucks to build out of pressure treated lumber and this thing is solid doesn't move and no problem during the storms or anything in fact uh there's the lumber i ended up using and i got it from home depot but uh so these are used mono panels that we picked up and they're 270 to 315 watts and we're running it in one string and what we're going to do is going to run those eights or we're going to probably get six one two three, yeah six of those and we'll pair it up with the eight that are on top of there because we have 16 up there but eight of them are in shade so we'll actually run the wire over here underground come up and then parallel it with these solar panels up here and we will be able to run that into another one of those eg4 3000s right now we have the ability to get 3000 watt output out of three out of the four and uh that's doing really well um and these solar panels these this every day we get this monsoon stuff where we might get a little bit of rain it'll blow a lot of dust It'll rain, and it'll blow some more dust, and you get this yuck on here. Um, but it still puts out a decent amount. So, um, And these solar panels are all different manufacturers. Here's the last one I'm going to put on that array. And then we have uh, these right here. These are all mono panels. That's a little bit different from this one. And these, these actually look like... Um, these are Trinas, and they actually look like the um, poly panels that I have, which are right over here, but they're mono panels. So these have one, two, three bus bars right there, 
And on the monos, they end up having one, two, three, four, five bus bars on each one of these. So you pick up um, almost twice as much. You go from three to five bus bars on each one. So you're going to get better tolerance um, when it's partially shaded in that. So here's a different one that we got right there. And that's a different one. These are kind of like those other ones over there. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. So, and those are, those are right around uh, 300. Those are like 300 to 315 watts. So seven of those, that's 2,100 watts. We could definitely run that 18,000 BTU off of that or a mini split. So, and you know, we only paid like 18 to 22 bucks a piece for these. The last ones I got, they went up a little bit. Um, they were 30 bucks. So, but I bought like five pallets where there was like five, nine, 15, seven. There was just a different amount and they were all mixed. Me, you might get three or four of the same, but they're all within like 30 watts of each other. So, but when you're running in a string, it really doesn't matter. The um, voltage and the amps are really close on that because you're only off by like 15 to 30 watts. So not a big deal. But uh, on this earlier, I was able to get, those are 300, 270 to 315 watt panels. And I was able to get 200 watts out of each one of them. So with six of those, that's 1200 watts. Um, I got 1200 watts I can get out of that. And that's with no load on it, just testing them. And then with these up here, I can get close to 1.5 kilowatts. So I'll put these eight in parallel with those over there. And I should be able to get pretty close to like 2.5 to 2.8 uh, kilowatts when I put it on that um, last EG4 3000 watt off-grid inverter. And that will give me pretty close to where I could get um, probably 11 to 11,500 watt output on load, but I'll have to find a big enough load. <laughs> I might have to run that, um, that pool heater is also a cooler, it's a chiller. It will actually cool the water down. So I might turn that on, that's 7,500 watts. And then we could just turn some mini splits on or something, or we can turn that on and, and one of these. This is like um, 1,600 to 2,600 watts. And this is more like 2,400 to 3,400 watts, three and a half ton, four ton. So we might be able to try and turn this one on and turn that one on and, you know, 3,400, that gives me eight. Uh, yeah, that's 11, 11,000. So we could try turning one of these and one of those and see if we could get that 11,000 watt output on it. So far, it hasn't flinched at anything I've thrown at it. It's like 8,000 8, or 8,500 watts load on there, and it was running really good. I've no, no hiccups whatsoever on this system with those four EG4 uh, 3,000 watt off-grid inverters. Um, so, pretty good deal. I'll leave links in the description where you can get these used solar panels. So far, my favorite is the uh, new, I paid more for them, but they're new and they come with a long warranty. And I got those from uh, Signature Solar. I'll put that link in there. And you can actually see in there the light. These are bifacial, so they pick up light underneath. And that's circuitry to pick up an extra 100 watts in each one of these panels. I got 10 of those, 400 watt bifacial with a gain of up to 500 watts. So um, they are doing really, really well. So we will 
Um, probably be getting more of these. Um, but, you know, those polys over there, we're going to end up, those are 24. Those are six sets of four in series, and the six sets are in parallel. And we're probably going to put those in 10 to 12 in series, and then 10 or 12 in series, and we're going to put that in parallel and run that into one of those EG4 3000s and check that um, with that. So um, that'll be interesting to see how much we can get out of those. Um, that's a 6,000 watt array. But um, I think the most I've been able to get out of that 6,000 watts is like 3,500 watts. So, you know, uh, those are producing maybe 150, 170 watts out of 250 watts on those solar panels. So, and I've had those for four years. And I keep them clean pretty good, but they're less efficient in parallel than they are in series. So, even these... Um, 330 watts that I have on that array and that array. When I tried doing those, four of those in pair or in series, four in series, and then parallel those to stay underneath 150 volt DC on the grow watt, they didn't do very well. But when I put them eight in series and eight in series and parallel them, I can get 3,000 watts out of those. So that's uh, really good. It's like 5120 watts. And I'm able to get my 3,000 I want out of it. But I only paid like 30 bucks a piece. So 16 times 30 is $480, no tax on it here in Arizona. So so $480 for the solar panels for one of those EG4 3000s. That's not a bad deal. Um, anyways, we are an affiliate with uh, Signature Solar and Santan Solar. And we'll leave links in the description for all the products. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. Hope you have a truly wonderful and extremely cool summer for 2024. Have a blessed day.